What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you're all good. Uh, we are in for push today. We're in for push today. Uh, today I wanted to just do a little bit of a, you know what, a little bit of a raw workout. We used to do these, uh, right at the start of prep, we used to do just some raw workouts, literally just weights clanging, me working hard. Because I love those types of videos, like I love watching Seabum, I love watching, uh, you know, all those top Olympian athletes just getting after some iron. So that's how we're going to do it. Like we do a lot of the education stuff, we do a lot of, uh, you know, breaking down workouts and whatnot. So this time I'm just going to sit back, I'm going to get into it because I'm starting to feel good again, I'm starting to train good again. Uh, I think my, uh, my repair is pretty much... You know, nearly there now. We're, we're right about uh, four weeks post-surgery. I've been building back up into things for the last two and a half weeks, probably. And this last week, I've started to feel like I can push things a little bit. I'm still not quite there on legs, because obviously you've got to brace yourself a bit more. I'm still not there on like deadlifts and stuff, because you've still got to brace yourself. But push, I'm feeling Gucci. But before we go and hit the gym, um, there is a word from our first ever, first ever, video sponsors. I'm excited for this. So today's sponsor is uh, the world-renowned uh, manscaping company from manscaped.com. So I want to shout out everyone uh, at Manscaped for getting in touch. So I've used Manscaped and I have the whole like leather bag and everything already, but they sent me out the new lawnmower 4.0, which is an absolutely amazing bit of kit here. Cool thing about this is, is it's waterproof. Uh, these little ceramic edges, they like reduce nicks. I've used this all over my body. Uh, it, is a, it is a special groin lawnmower, um, but I didn't quite want to show Andy that on the, on the B-roll, so we didn't get into it. So I'm super happy to be one of the first people to be trying this. Fully waterproof, it's cordless, it's got wireless charging, uh, it's reduced nicks, and uh, it's an all-round top, top product. So if you guys like the product and you enjoy manscaping, because not only does it look good, but it's actually very, very good for hygiene. Uh, you can use Josh B20 um, across all of their products, support your boy, uh, but also use a really good product. And as you can see, we're now back in the gym. So uh, like I said, I want to keep this nice and raw for you guys. So I'm just going to talk you through what the workout is going to be now, and I can just get into it, get my head space in the right place and get after some good numbers. So we're going to have cuffed crucifix lateral raises using the one of our thin cuffs. Uh, which are really, really good for your lateral raises. Check out oneamar.shop if you haven't used them already. Uh, then we've got a reverse banded Smith incline press, a high incline, so maybe if that's 90 degrees, we're gonna come to 70 degrees. Then it's supposed to be a low incline dumbbell press, but I've been doing a flat nautilus press instead because I didn't want to load the weight through my midsection, my midsection just yet, so we would be doing the flat nautilus press. Um, and then we've got um, cuffed cable costal flies, which we're gonna use the one of our bigger cuffs because we need to get them up above our elbows. The thin cuffs don't do that for bigger arm people. Um, so that'll be focused on that costal. And then we'll do some standing cuff lateral raises to finish. And then we'll just touch on our triceps. So on this push session, uh, we do our triceps. So we're gonna do a long rope extension with the one of our rope. And then I'm gonna be doing the overhead tricep Atlantis machine. And that'll be the workout. Let's get into it. I am tingling my face off. Do that like ten times a day. Cool. So you guys might notice uh, these two blue things fall down every time we lift up. Uh, I would recommend not using the gyms. Uh, these are basically uh, bar clips. Don't use the gym ones, these are my ones, one of my ones. And all I'm doing is I'm putting them on here, just on the edge of them, so that they'll fall out. Because all that's gonna do, it's gonna put me in a plate. You might have seen this on my channel before. You can see I'm, that's my starting position. This, I can't even, 
can't even get under there. So if I was starting both hands under, I'd be starting in such a compromised position for my shoulder girdle. So you can use a D-handle, plates, whatever it is, something that just falls out naturally. My chest volume is a little bit higher than what I've been doing the last four weeks. Just got this one extra exercise in. Oh, fuck, I feel it. So the upper line of the pec, the delts, we've destroyed. Four sets on a big mechanical loading machine. Uh, like that's more than I'm used to, so I can really feel the fatigue. But the fatigue is all up here. So now we want to work the bulk of the titty um, and work much more on that lower diagonal rather than an upper diagonal which you would associate with those clavicular and upper fibers. So I'm gonna come on the inside, on the inside handles here. And you're just gonna see the direction of my hands. They get directed across and you use a big proportion of that lower pec. If you find yourself like coming a little bit high, what you need to do is just sit yourself a bit higher when you're finished. So for me, I need to come up a bit more. <clears throat> I swear to God, I feel swollen, They're killing me. Ugh. Ugh, fuck. Come on. Ah. See, as my short range completely fails, I can't get it past there. I can just milk this middle length range. failed in the short range, in the mid range, and in the long range. Full muscular failure there. Jeez. Oh.
So that is a uh, session done, session wrapped up. So I just wanted to very briefly talk to you about what I'm gonna do in my training room. So I'm keeping the exact same split as what you've been watching over the last couple of weeks. I've just implemented some baseline volume where I've taken off a few sets here and there. And we're basically gonna progress that over six weeks. So every two weeks, I'm gonna add a progression in and I'm gonna hopefully go from my minimal effective volume to grow a muscle to my maximum recoverable volume um, in terms of like if you go over that <laughs> you're not going to be able to recover from it so we're basically going to have two set lines MEV MRV if you want to call it that we're going to start here we're going to add on every two weeks we're going to get to that sixth week that seventh week I'm going to half my volume and deload and we're going to restructure and we're going to go again at that new set point we're going to hopefully just push volume up over the year obviously alongside food obviously alongside drugs as well and that's essentially how i'm going to be doing it i'll obviously do a, a slightly more in-depth video about how we're going to progress things a slightly more in-depth thing about how and if we and when we make changes i'll explain exactly what and why and where we put them in the workout because there will be exercises that it's just not effective to put on but there will be other exercises where you can indeed do that so we're going to leave that video there guys um, if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up appreciate all the support on the channel recently it's been unbelievable um don't forget to like, guys. We'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye.